Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Matter of Opinion, the show where we debate and give our opinion based off of facts and the information available. I'm your boy, Walls P. And it's your girl, Tia. And today's episode, I got a video for you that I want you to check out. Okay. So on Instagram, I saw a video. It definitely shed some light to what's going on today. 50 Cent posted about Little Kim and with all her surgeries and everything like that, the way she looks, she comes off looking at the, as the leprechaun. So here's the video right here for you where <laughs> You can see, and she really do look like the leprechaun. And the, the dance didn't help. Exactly. The caption and the comments and everything that was going on in that post was hilarious. But the main thing I want to get at is, with all the different surgeries that Little Kim has done, mm -hmm. she looks completely different than the Little Kim we knew back in the, you know, the 90s yeah, when we grew up listening to her. Exactly. She looked completely different. Now, granted, I understand some of the surgeries was because she was in an abusive relationship and everything like that. Yeah. But it shows you how all these changes and everything to your body eventually take a toll. Mm -hmm. Now, she has the money, of course, if things start looking not looking right whatever she can quickly get whatever get fix or whatever tune up, yeah. <laughs> but this brings the question to how all these women are constantly getting bbls and all these cosmetic surgeries and done so like you as a woman like what is so rampant that these women are getting these surgeries or electing to get these surgeries for vast improvement instead of doing the good hard work of diet, exercise, yada, yada, and get it the natural way. I mean, if you think about it, though, when you diet, work out, you know, even if you get a personal trainer, all of those things, it takes time. And then when you're someone, especially when you're like on, you know, social media, you could be a rapper, singer, whatever, you're in the limelight. Often people are taking pictures of you. And we all know how that is, ladies, where you can do a selfie, you look one way. And then when someone does a random picture of you, you look completely different. So... I mean, I think it's natural that they want to always look their best at all times. And I mean, think about it. With that video that 50 Cent posted, that's a clear example of why a lot of women go out and they get these enhancements because you have men like that that will put it on Front Street and make fun of it. And because of his platform, his followers are going to eat that up. Like you said, the comments were hilarious. And then also, let me just point out, mm -hmm. there was something not too long ago where your godfather had posted a picture of a model I believe her name was like Francine Mopin. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm okay. chopping up her last name. And you know, at the bottom it was like something to the effect of like, just do it, as if it was a Nike ad. And he took it as, oh, you know, look at this, this is horrible, you know, all of these things. And again, his followers ate it up. But first of all, it was a fake ad, it wasn't real. Nike really didn't put this out. But it also just makes you feel like, well, dang, even when you have a woman who's accepting her body, she never said, oh, it's wonderful to be plus size, or you should be this or that. She just, she's a model, you know? Mm -hmm. So she's getting paid, clearly, to look the way she does. People like it. But why? Like, if it weren't for things like that, women wouldn't feel the need to run out and, okay, let me hurry up and get the lipo. Let me get the BBL. Let me get the breast implants. Because you have men like that, that, again, put it on Front Street for everybody to eat up. So how do you think they're supposed to feel? Yeah, but what's wrong with good hard, good hard work to get it done? Because the way it sounds like to me is, instead of doing it the good hard way where you put in the work to actually get it done you take the quick way out like the lazy way out and that's what i see a lot of times when things get tough a lot of women rather pick the easy way out instead of that grind and hustle to get to said destination but see the thing that you have to understand is mm -hmm. everyone isn't built for tough you know what i mean so whereas you may be someone who is like okay whatever people make comments about me and it is what it is it rolls off your, you know rolls off your shoulder but then you have other people where someone makes a comment about you whether it's you know it could be your nose it could be your your stomach even if you just had a kid it could i mean think about it look at all the women who just had children mm -hmm. they're quick to post snapback they're mm -hmm. quick to because it's almost like you can't be human and just say, look, I just had a baby. Yeah, this is sagging or yeah, this isn't, you know, I don't have the abs I used to have. But it's because of the fact of, like I said, society and the way people come at them. And then again, people aren't built like you are. So you may get the comments and it is what it is. You have other women where, especially if they're already dealing with self-esteem issues. And let's be honest, a lot of us didn't have the perfect upbringing. So who's to say that they didn't have a mentally or verbally abusive mother or father? 
or as you mentioned with Lil' Kim, she came from an abusive relationship. Like you don't know what someone's past is. That that that's very true, but being for tough as me doesn't still doesn't mean you like it shouldn't make you put the work in. And what I mean by putting the work in, okay, you're not built for tough wherever where you're not a workout guru, yada yada. Mm -hmm. You still can change the way you diet. Working out does not change your appearance. Work okay. Let me rephrase that. Working out does help you on your journey to your appearance, but you could work out as much as possible. But if your eating is not proper, mm -hmm. you're getting nowhere. So at the end of the day, what does it come to? Yeah. Diet and eating properly. Yeah. So again, that's to me, that's still taking the lazy way out. And on um, another thing I want to say too is, um, granted, okay, you're a person who posts on social media. You don't like what people are saying or whatever. Stop posting. Yeah, but that's the bread and butter. You can't say that. Like, you have people where, you know... Let me ask you this real quick. Okay. When you say bread and butter, are we talking about celebrities or are we talking about regular average people? Because if I'm we're so, talking okay. regular average people, that's not their bread and butter. That's not making the money. That's just posting for people's likes or whatever. But if you're talking celebrities, that's their bread and butter, you got me there. Okay. So you're talking about the regular average woman. regular or if you're if you're going to go celebrity route okay i can understand the pressure and everything like that but even so if you're a celebrity you can now hire a personal trainer a chef get all these and i guarantee you the feedback that you're going to get for putting in the hard work of hiring a trainer and exercising you're going to get so much more positive feedback as opposed to if you go get all these surgeries and post hey i'm xyz you're gonna get more negative comments than you would if you did it the way of getting the personal trainer and stuff like that because here's the thing mm -hmm. they can do that for movies put get hire a personal trainer hire a chef do all this you, you um get in shape for the role you're gonna do for the movie so what is the difference of you doing it for your regular life no, I hear what you're saying. And just to point out, when a lot of people get these surgeries, mm -hmm. they do have to do some type of upkeep to keep it up. Now, as you mentioned, whether you have a child, mm -hmm. you're aging, you know, whatever the case may be, yeah, people go in for a tune-up, you know, to fix things. But if it's just an average woman that wants to get this stuff done, like what you're saying is very cut dry mm -hmm. and it may make sense to you, but at the end of the day, that's not the reality. Okay. Like, you can't tell, especially a person that's, let's say, 18 to 36. Like, oh, you know what? If you have a low self-esteem or, you know what, you're being influenced by social media, just stop posting. And they're going to be like, oh, okay. No, that's not going to happen. That's not the reality. Like, like I said, your mode of thinking is not the... I don't want to say the norm. Oh, definitely. But it's not well, we, the know we know it's that. We know that. We know that. I got Teflon. <laughs> I got Teflon skin, so you know stuff like that. Yeah, it applies to me, and I guess yes, I do that. Try and reflect that onto the world, onto other people, whatever. Yeah. But yes, I understand yeah. that people aren't cut off the same cloth. So go on. <laughs> exactly. So the other thing too is you have to understand that even when a person does it naturally, society will still tear them down and still say oh yeah you must have had surgery oh yeah you must have um you know you must have had your top ribs removed okay because you but if you're a person who did it the natural way and people are talking like that it makes you feel good to actually respond because you know you put the hard work in to do it i hear what you're saying but at the end of the day people are going to talk regardless yeah they're going to talk I, I understand they're going to talk regardless but if you're telling me if i took the years to work and get to a CEO position okay. and somebody try and make a comment, I'm still gonna go to sleep good at night because I know I worked my butt off. But if I screwed my way to the top and people talk, it's gonna hit hard, it's gonna be like, you gonna a net, you're gonna feel it more. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. that's what I'm trying to say. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but at the end of the day, like I said, that's not the reality, especially with a lot of young women. You know, yeah, it makes sense. Do it the natural way. Eat right. Get the personal trainer if you can mm -hmm. afford it. Or just get a membership. You can get a membership for as little as, what, $19, $15 mm -hmm. a month. But that's not the reality of it. Not all and unfortunately, it. a lot of people are influenced by social media. They are. So they don't see the fact that, for example, with Beyonce, you know, when she did her latest, um, I forgot what the tour was mm -hmm. that she had did, the Homecoming. Mm -hmm. When she did that one, behind the scenes, it was like she... 
I don't even think she ate red meat. Mm -hmm. She definitely didn't do carbs. She yeah. didn't do certain fruit. She, she didn't, did a lot like, of it stuff. was a very strict diet because she just had the baby. So, not only did she want to have the stamina, she wanted to make sure she could sing and not get out of breath really quick. Like, you know, it was all these things. People didn't see that. All they just saw was, oh my gosh, she just had these kids and she's up there going ham. But behind the scenes, it was all this work that she had to do. And of course, once that was over, she probably did go back to the regular way that she ate. Now, one thing to note, people, is that if you're trying to cut weight by a certain time frame that's unrealistic, you're going to run into those issues. But if it's a slow, a slow, steady course, you're not going to have that issue of feeling no energy or whatever because you're training your body little by little to gradually get to that destination. I just want to point that out because people will hear it and be like, oh my God, you mean if I diet, I'm going to feel no energy, yada, yeah. yada, this, that, no. Yeah. If you try and move too quick and try and take shortcuts, of course you're going to experience that. Exactly. And in her case, she had a timeline for whatever she was trying to do. So that's what you get out of it. Exactly, which is also a good reason why you should sign up with a personal trainer. Or there are even apps that you can download that are free. I mean, you may have to pay if you want to get the meal plans. But there are many different ways where you can go out there and you can do it naturally. But again, you know we're in this, you mm -hmm. know, microwave era where yeah, everybody yeah. wants everything done right now. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, of course. Like, don't get me wrong. If I wasn't scared, I'd get a BBL. But mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that. You know, I'm afraid of needles. I don't want to get unnecessary surgery. And at the end of the day, like I have been taking your advice mm -hmm. for certain things in terms of, you know, uh, water intake, which is very important. The things that you eat mm -hmm. and, you know, I have my cheat days just like everybody else. But I know that I keep trying every day. I'm not going to give up. But like I said before, you have some people where their self-esteem is not there. So for them, when they hear certain comments, granted, they don't even have to hear a comment. They just go on social media. They see on Instagram, you know, women look a certain way. I mean, let's face it. They're mannequins where they look like they have BBLs. Like it's to the point where no matter where you go as a young woman, you're going to see that Kim Kardashian, you know, Kobe, like it's a certain shape you're going to see no matter where you go. It's to the point where even fashion over fashion over models they have that same look where it's like is that kim is it kylie because they all look alike everyone mm -hmm. is get and it's not just a black issue let me just put that out there it's not just a black woman issue it's a woman issue you have a lot of people who are out there getting these bbls you know and now they're getting the lip injections they're getting the, you know they're doing all these different things to enhance how they look skin lightening creams over tanning all of these things but again it's because society has made it where if you look natural you want to look like your normal self it's almost like they crucify you for it see this is the way i i, I see it man like okay if you want to get all these enhancements or whatever do what you do but mm -hmm. just understand the risks that come with Absolutely. it number one make sure you know you're gonna have tune-ups and everything like that that you're gonna have to do but my thing is why not just love yourself for instance if you have a person that has a small johnson Guess what? Like, yo, find a chick that will feel your small Johnson and it's pleasing to her, and that's that. If you're a person that got a small booty or whatever, find a dude that's into that, and, you, like, there's somebody out there for everybody. Absolutely. That's what I'm trying to say, and you shouldn't have the pressure of society coerce you into making a decision, especially something that's life-threatening, because, like I said, with those surgeries, trust me, it's a lot that can go wrong with it. Absolutely. And you hear all these women all the time like, yo, I don't I honestly don't know what's in my ass. Like seriously? So, just be careful with it. Like I said, if that's the decision that you're going to make, do what you do. Mm -hmm. But just know the risks that come with it. And the other thing that I want to point out too is even though you get them alterations, at the end of the day, it still doesn't take care of the underlying issue. Absolutely. So let's just say weight loss surgery. You get the weight loss surgery. Yes, you got to go through procedures, whatever. But the minute you get it and you fall off that wagon because you see all the weight com coming off, you never took care of the underlying problem. So guess what? That surgery was for naught where you're putting the weight right back on and probably double, triple the amount that mm -hmm. you had before. So just be wary of that. I definitely agree with you because um, I know of a few people mm -hmm. who had the gastric sleeve, the gastric bypass, and you know, sometimes you have to question it like, wait, did they get it done? Because they look either mm -hmm. the same as they did prior to surgery mm -hmm. or they gain more weight. Yep. And a lot of people don't realize that, that with a lot of them, you have to get to a certain weight 
before the doctor will even approve you for surgery. And then even once you get back to your normal meals, first you have to go with the puree food, mm -hmm. and then you have to, um, or maybe like liquid puree food, and then you go back to your regular food. Mm -hmm. And by the time you get to regular food, a lot of people can easily gain that 30, 40 pounds, because like you said, they didn't take care of that underlying issue, mm -hmm. um, which is very important and why you should, as you mentioned, love yourself, talk to somebody, you know, I'm a big advocate for talking to a counselor to get to whatever the root cause of the issue is. And trust me, ladies, I get it. You know, I was just talking to one of my, my mentees not too long ago, where if you look at someone like Lizzo, you know, she's body positive. She, in a sense, isn't promoting obesity, but she also isn't promoting, yeah, you know, yeah. certain healthy behaviors. Pretty much, but she's pretty much saying love yourself. Exactly. She's saying love yourself, but even with the body positivity, people will still knock her down, say she's promoting obesity, saying that, you know, she needs to cover up, you know, she shouldn't do certain things. And I may have to admit, certain things I do agree with and I disagree with. But then you also have someone like Koyla Ray, who is very petite, and if you look at her comments on any given video or picture she posts, people are talking about how skinny she is, or she looks like a boy, or all these different things. So it's, I get it. It's like no matter what you look like, no matter whether you're promoting body positivity or whatever it may be, society is gonna have a way to tear you down. And that's where you definitely need to get that thick skin, even if you're not a celebrity. See, I think I think the internet is full with a lot of trolls too. Absolutely, people who just want to get under absolutely. the skin. Absolutely. So that that's also something to look at. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. But every now and again, people break, you know. And yeah. then on the flip side, it doesn't help when you also have celebrities that promote it. Like for example, someone had posted something where they said teeth or BBL. And Cardi B, that's my girl, but she did respond to the post and she said, oh, you know, get the BBL because I've never seen something to the effect of a man not go after a woman because she had a gap, you know, but she had a banging body. And of course, when you look at the comments, now don't get me wrong, you do have a lot of women that were saying how, oh, that's jacked up, you should fix your teeth, you know, like they were promoting natural bodies. I it will is, give them that. It is. The reason why I say that is because your teeth is very important you can work on getting a bigger butt by doing squats and stuff like that your teeth there's absolutely nothing you can do for it unless you go see a dentist so that's bad advice in my opinion but like i said if you think that's a better choice that's on you yeah but yeah. if you ask me get your teeth fixed <laughs> That's just my opinion on it. No, you're absolutely right. <laughs> you know. You're absolutely right. And as you mentioned, these surgeries are very, very dangerous. You know, it's to the point where I believe with the BBL, if they inject it into like, what is it, like the wrong part or something like something that in your like, body, yeah. it could go into like your bloodstream or it can go to your heart. Like, it's all these different horror stories. And, you know, let's not forget the people who can't afford the BBL. So they end up getting, you know, these illegal injections. And as you mentioned, they don't know what's in it. And it can cause so many problems, infections, amputations, mm -hmm. even at the very most. So please love yourself they because go, it's not yep, worth it. They go see a quack to get it done. Exactly. <laughs> go to some basement <laughs> doctors. Pretty much. Pretty you know, much. who'll just, oh yeah, you got $500? Yeah. Yep. yeah, I'll give you whatever you want. And now you're having hot flashes mm -hmm. and you're passing out or you don't yep. know what's going on with you. Look at Kay Michelle, for example. She has had so many surgeries because she used to get the illegal butt injections and she had to go in. She had to get multiple reconstructive surgeries. Mm -hmm. it, it's to the point where sometimes you really don't recognize her. Like yeah, you look it, at one it, of her recent pictures, all that stuff it does look up. like she yeah, had a lot of work done on her up. face. But when she commented back at a troll, she said the reason why she's had so many surgeries, and yes, yeah, she may not look the same, is because she had to have these life-altering, you know, surgeries to save her life. Mm -hmm. Because of the one mistake of, oh yeah, I want to get butt injections. Because once upon a time, that was the cool thing to do. Mm -hmm. So please stop following these fads. Yeah. It's really not worth it. Just like I said, love yourself. If you're going to do it, do it because you want to. Don't do it because somebody pushed you into doing it. That's all I'm going to say. Don't do it for no man. Don't do it just to get attention, whatever. Do it because you want to do it. Absolutely. That's what I say. Because doing something for a man, that's the worst decision that you can make. And I'm a man telling you this. Don't do anything for a man. Do something because you want to do it. Absolutely. That's what I say. It's not worth your life. Yeah. And if you have the money to do that, because here's the other thing, ladies. Your insurance isn't going to cover all of those surgeries, especially if it's not you know, necessary. Yeah, but don't they have programs that allow you to, 
get it though? That I'll pay for it or some, something like that? I believe they may have that. <laughs> okay. But for the most part, a lot of these people are dropping that money, you know, cash or using their credit card mm. or whatever it may be. But either way, these, these things aren't cheap. Mm -hmm. And if you can afford those surgeries, invest in a business. Yeah. You know, put it in something else that I'm pretty sure will be more productive. You really don't need to get that, that exactly. surgery done. Yep. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We'd love to hear what you guys got to say in the comment section. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you a person who's on the path to getting the surgery done, getting a BBL, or getting a weight loss surgery? Whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. definitely share your story in the comment section. We would love to hear it. Anything you need to add at the end? Again, make wrap sure, it up? just make sure that you love yourself and tune out the haters. People are going to talk regardless. Yes, sir. She's right about that. That's going to do it for this episode of Matter of Opinion. I'm Walls P. It's your girl, Tia. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. It's a matter of opinion.